Hi guys, this is another video from Easy as One Two Three. Today we're going to talk about lichen planus. Um, so let's break down the word. What does lichen and planus mean? So lichen is basically a composite organism consisting of fungus. On the left, you see this picture. So this is the fungus, and as you can see, the fungus is kind of flat, right? So that's what planus means. So fungus looking and flat lesions. So let's talk about this more in detail after this introduction that I just gave you. Okay guys, so let's talk about lichen planus a little bit more in detail. It's associated with six Ps. Okay, so what are these six Ps that I keep that I just told you about? The first P stands for planus. Simple as that. The first thing we talked about was that flat lesion. So that's what the first P is going to be, planus. The second P stands for purple. As you can see, they're pinkish, purplish color. So that's what the second P is for. The third P is that they might either they can be either a papule or a macule. Papule is a little bit, a little bit of a raised lesion, and then the plaques are not. They're flat. Um, they're really pruritic, especially at night. So that means that means it's really itchy. And it's polygonal uh, in shape, meaning they have different shapes and sizes, right? So some are small, some are big, right here. Some are small, some are big. The one thing that's associated with it, as you can see, it has a bunch of white lines right here, right here, 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 here. here. So that's called Bichemstria. And if it involves the oral cavity, then if you see here, white lines, white lines. The oral, if the oral cavity is involved, it only has Vicemstria. Now let's talk about histology. Histolo histologically, what's really, 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 really super high yield is that at the junction of dermal epidermal, there's lymphocyte infiltration. So right here, right here, right here, right here. The second picture, you see this? So doesn't this just look like teeth like trying to bite into something so that's why this is called saw tooth appearance okay guys so remember this saw tooth appearance at the dermal epidermal junction and one last thing is that there's not really a cause for it is no they say it's autoimmune but they haven't figured out any antibodies but if you suspect a patient comes to you and you check their oral, uh, you do oral examination, you find a vicemstria, or you're suspecting a lichen planus, please, please do a test for Hep C. There's a strong association of lichen planus with Hep C. So that's it, guys. See you in the next video.